Hello, great people of God. I am sure that one of the very fascinating, intriguing, and most times it could be really interesting and at the same time depressing, one major thing that everyone on earth at every point in time would always talk about is money. Is money. Money. And today I want to talk about how to make easy money. How to make easy money. How you can just get easy money right here and now. How to make easy money. <laughs> how to make easy money. Let's go to the scriptures and find out how to make easy money. Matthew chapter 17, verse 27. How to make easy money. A Jesus example. And the Bible says, Notwithstanding, lest we should offend them, go down to the sea and cast an hook and take up the fish that first cometh up. And when thou hast opened his mouth, thou shalt find a piece of money that take and give unto them for me and thee. How to make, now this is the most simple thing that you can ever imagine, how someone would just go, go to the sea, getting there, and of course you just get a fish and open the mouth, and then money is there waiting for you. How to make easy money. Obvious some wise things that the Lord has laid up in there for us, that if we do, then we can actually make easy money. Number one, Jesus sent a Peter, and Peter was a fisherman. Peter had the fishing skills. Peter had the fishing skills. First of all, now imagine Jesus sent someone like me and say, go to the fish, go to the sea, and then you're gonna catch a fish. Trust me, I don't even know how to catch a fish. So if I would be bad for that, I don't have the skills. And the first thing Jesus was actually targeting were the skills. People of God. You can't make money without skills. You need to acquire a skill set for either your career, a skill set for ministry, a skill set. I know you've been praying, but go get you some skills. I know you've been, go get some skills. And Jesus was simply trying to say, I give money to those I can find skills in their hands. The Bible talks about blessing the works of our hands. There's got to be work in your hand for God to bless. And so Jesus was actually going to send someone who had skills, who had skills, who had skills. And do you realize that the normal place for humans to live in is on terrestrial land? And of course, you do know that the fish itself lives in the aquatic habitat. And so where man lives is in the terrestrial region. But Jesus sends Peter and says, go to the aquatic habitat. That is where you're going to find what will give you money. Was it Jesus' way of saying, leave your comfort zone? Mm. People of God, then how easy then is easy money? The truth is that you've got to leave your comfort zone. You've been praying and say, God, I need financial explosion. Jesus is saying, leave your comfort zone. The kind of money God wants to give you, you're so much in your comfort zone. You don't sleep and wake up and that kind of money will come. And oh seeker, you're a man in ministry. Leave your comfort zone. You are a career person. Leave your comfort zone. You open the shop all the time. And is, there, is there something more God would have you do? Is there, is there one more line God would have you cross? Is there something else that God, is there another idea? Now, you know, sometimes God needs you to leave your comfort zone so that the creative juices can come up so that God can squeeze out something great out of you. You're a great man. You cannot be comfortable the way you are comfortable. And that is why God is saying it's about time for him to cause you to leave your comfort zone. People of God. There is so much God has in store for you. But then again, and I do realize that every fisherman will tell you this, that when they go fishing, especially if it is a fishing that is not in bulk like that, and they have to fish or throw in a hook, just like the Bible said that a hook was thrown in, and then Peter had to get the fish by the hook. The truth is that they usually throw in the hook with a bait. They put the baits there and the fish will find the bait and go looking for the bait. As it comes looking for the bait, then it gets hooked. Now, the fish will be attracted by the bait, but he doesn't know that what he considers or what he considers an attraction is actually to catch it so that what Peter was looking for can be found in it. Is there something about you that can attract your generation? 
Is there some branding about you the way you put either by behavior, either by skills, either by communication, either by that could just put immediate attraction. Now the fish would not have to ask questions. The fish is just caught. The fish is just caught because the fish is attracted by the bait that Peter had put out. Aha, people of God. Do you brand yourself? Have you package yourself have you put together yourself have you prayed yourself to the place where your generation finds you very attractive people of God how to make money Jesus taught us how to make money and then he sends Peter and says Peter go in there throw in your hook and all that with the bait inside of it and all that and child of God the bait was a form of exchange the bait was for the thing that was going to attract the fish and all together the bible says that when you eventually catch the fish now you and i do know that the fish is actually something that was to be eaten it was to be eaten but jesus said when you catch this fish don't go and cook it when you catch this fish open the mouth there is something i have put inside of this fish for you people of god Every provision is not food. Now, there every is not every provision. Every fish does not end up in the cooking pot. Sometimes there are God times when God makes provision for you as a result of your skill. Ask God, is there something inside this provision that can multiply me for my next season? Do you realize the money that Peter needed was inside the fish? And then imagine that Peter said, I'm too hungry, sir. Can I just go and cook this fish and eat and all of that? Maybe he will find the money. Maybe he will not end up finding the money. But then again, he realized, he realized that there is a provision made. The provision was not made for me to sit back and cook a whole fish and enjoy it or maybe fry it or roast it or some do something, but it was because of the money inside of it. Oh my God, Jesus was such a master in teaching us about finances. And so you need to understand that some of those things that come and all that, please find out, is there a potential for multiplication? Is there a potential to solve a need? Not just a potential for me to be satisfied. And I want you to realize also, Jesus said, when you get that money in the fish, use it and pay for me and the rest of the others. For me and you, just go and pay for us. Pay all our taxes. Pay all our taxes. People of God, Jesus teaches another powerful lesson about your finances. Make sure your money is on assignment. Make sure your money is on assignment all the time. People of God, before you bring out yet one more money, ask yourself, which assignment is this money going on for me? Can I say it again? Jesus said, listen, as you're getting this money, I've already assigned this money. It is not a free will. It is not for fizzy drink. It is not. Please, the next time you want to spend money, ask yourself, this money I want to spend now, what assignment is it going for? Is it going to bring diabetes, the money? Assignment? What is the assignment? I'm, is it showing my recklessness? Is this what this, is it showing my lack of prudence? But Jesus had to give the money an assignment. And the million dollar question is, the finances God has given to you, is it on assignment? The privilege that God has given you to handle money, is it on assignment? How did you misuse the last money and yet you're praying for a new one? When I look at you, I see that true riches cannot be committed into your hands because you know how to blow the ones that you have. And then Jesus says, listen, Peter, I am not, I know that I've done a miracle by asking you to go to the fish and get out money. But then again, the money is not just something for you to look back on and celebrate. I have money, but it is for an assignment. How to make easy money. The question really is, how easy is the easy money that Jesus makes happen? The final thing is that having a fish Carry money is nothing but supernatural. Is nothing but supernatural. Having a fish carry money in its belly is nothing but supernatural. People of God, there is a part of financial increase that is supernatural. There's a part of financial increase that is associated with only with what God can make happen. Father, we thank you.
Today, oh God, it's so intriguing to know you can bring out this depth of wisdom just from fish and money inside of it. Teach us, oh God, to abide by what you have said. In Jesus' name we pray.